Hey Capricorn, <clears throat> welcome to Scorpio season, where there will be a lot of fixed energy, but you're feeling good. <laughs> this month, uh, every month has, has its difficulties, right? But this month for you, straight out from the get-go of the Venusian season, you feel really good, solid even. You feel solid in plans that you've made things that are happening now also you might be extremely fertile so just be very careful and it's the season of greater intimacy is it not so just be aware of that there's something that comes over you this month you get approached a lot um but this month will be more than usual and even though you like attention, like everyone, and then there are parts of you that doesn't give a shit, it depends on what it's for, right? So you're going to get a lot of attention that you just don't care about. It's very much so you... really see through what isn't for you i don't mean to rhyme okay <laughs> and what happens because of that is the ace of pentacles when you see through it all and when you we look at the cards i guess i can show you but when we look at the cards in the second part you'll see that it's like you're just like skipping through it all like eventually throughout the month like it'll start and you'll be like why am i like why is this what what is all this bullshit you know you're like kind of just not even entertaining it like scorpio season's like yeah i'm not i'm not entertaining any of this so then you'll have a period of maybe even silence and not no more like opportunities aren't coming no one's approaching you whatever it is and then quickly after that and the opening happens you realize like oh this is the opening like this is what I actually want this is the other side of the bullshit <clears throat> and this month it's just very obvious to you and you're kind of just like yeah not really I don't really care yeah oh okay so what comes from this and like the rigid residual effects of this is you really red sorry about that so when all this opens up for you it's really important to understand that what you're now focusing on and celebrating and understanding is this vulnerability that you've learned and relearned and Scorpio season is solidifying that for you. It's solidifying that you more than ever know the areas of your life where you've deserved better, you've needed to add more value to and you're, of course you love like quality, but there's some places in your life where that was lacking and now it's the quality of your vulnerability of your ability to believe in yourself of your ability to not take from yourself by engaging with you know small battles or situations that are just not worth your energy and it's just like very obvious to you more than ever that it's been taking from vital energy. And this month, Mars is going into Scorpio and all of the fixed signs. It can be really easy for you to get pulled in because you do know better. Like you want to even tell it like it is and you want to say things that like, of course are expected of coming from you. But remember that it's a part of seeing through the bullshit this month is like this month could drain you really quickly if you allow it or it can add to your life a lot if you learn to preserve where it's really necessary. And a lot of this is about where when you don't open up about certain things in your life or you don't allow yourself or allow people to see those parts of you that can take from 
a relationship that you spend time on or that these places you spend time there is a there is more of that wanting to connect with you this month more than ever and it could just be with yourself even in, the, in a way that you maybe haven't experienced in a while and it's a part of you that has to see really really quick closely and look very closely at this part of you and these parts of you that are extremely capable of making the cuts making way making room and understanding that anything you do can have fun or joy and you can enjoy what you do and be good at it and all of the things and continuously want to learn and that's something that you do anyway and this month you know a lot you've learned a lot and you're going to see and realize by just looking around you how much you've grown by who surrounds you at this point and who you actually feel like spending your time with celebrating time with and even you're looking at the way you have fun and celebrating differently and it's becoming a place where it's actually you thought you used to do it a certain way and you realize how much energy that took from you and you like to work and you like to be engaging at work you don't like to feel you know you just it's just so much better when you work in an environment that you really like to do and you're being challenged. And right now you're being challenged to take a different perspective with yourself and know that in a time where things are going well and it might feel like almost like plateauing, like you don't need to go. And we've I know we've said this in many different ways, but you don't need to go that extra mile all the time. This month, that extra mile belongs to you. It belongs to the like how you want to... I mean, already your season's like coming up very quickly but next month is going to be a lot more like fun a lot more free freedom but in in a different way now remember that's changed for you now there's a difference on how you view challenges in your life now it's a challenge of connection and you're learning about yourself in ways where if you have thought a year ago even around this time you realize that the answer is different or you may not even knew how knew how to answer that question about yourself a year a year ago and now it's coming up again and this may be reflective semi-reflective time it's important for you to not obsess about where else you want to go it's like what did I write down that came up is like it's sideways up like you know the mountain goats that are on the mountain they kind of go sideways up and when I walk especially if I'm walking down a steep hike in a steep part of a hike I go sideways like I just put my feet sideways put my body sideways because I find I have more stability so this month is about you recognizing very closely how well you know the stable climb and how good you are at it because it may seem like it happened quickly but you know it hadn't <laughs> you know that it has not been quick to to rise up there at certain points it feels a lot easier to jump or make a bigger step but right now it's not about how far you're making the step it's about what you're learning from the level that you're on and how you want to navigate from here who you want what you want surrounding you who you want surrounding you um it's like a, a different kind of when we learn to love ourselves in the way that we need to and really need to acknowledge that it's on an individual level, then this protection that coincides with that love starts to form and it keeps you, keeps things away from you. So that's that page of cups turning into the Knight of Pentacles. It keeps those things from even getting to you and meeting you sometimes. And you, you may be asking yourself this month of like, why does this thing keep repeating? Like, I feel like I've seen this before. I feel like the situation has happened with myself before. And you, you almost, some of you might even be in the situation when you notice and you're like, oh wait, shit, like this isn't, and you might find some, for some of you, you might find that you leave a certain situation really abruptly and abrasively because you're like, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This is not how we're doing this anymore. For some of you, you catch it first. And it's that over, like, this month can be 
extremely prosperous from you by learning how to preserve and learning how to understand that sideways climb because Scorpios are really on the up and up too like they're just like you guys are kind of they could really if you allow yourself to learn from this season and learn from like how you work outside is how you work inside for the most part and there are parts of you that have been because you feel like on the outside like everything is you know really good but there's something that might be just not clicking and hasn't been clicking but you almost like don't know how to explain it so this month it does click because by the end of the month and by the time we enter Sagittarius season you have a whole new way of looking at certain things you have a whole way a whole new way of understanding a certain part of your life that you thought you understood fully so this perspective this thing that you understand about yourself that that what that in which you understand about the world around you it really changes and solidifies something really important for you especially in terms of how you continuously see yourself and see like who you see yourself becoming that adds to how you deal with yourself in this moment and for you you're so easy to just like do 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 and just like be a part of this back and forth with I know what I want I know how to do it I know how to get there in this constant like thing that always happens where it's like now you have to slow down just like chill relax and like this month is like a con like a teeter between those two and you may find that it's sometimes really annoying because you like to just be in a certain direction and this one asks you to kind of be a little bit more lenient with yourself because it's going to make this month a lot easier for you it's so funny because we're entering a very structured month so it's really important for you to be flexible with yourself right now and when you need to like let loose and like let Scorpio season be what it is, go do it. You know, just catch yourself. Just remember that I told you to catch yourself in those moments where you think and you're reminded of the situation. You're like, oh, shit, don't want to do that again. High priestess on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, no more holding on to that which isn't adding value to your life. All right, so in the next part, we'll take a look at the cards and you will see what this looks like and that all the information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below Capricorn. I'll see you next month. Hi, Capricorn. Um, as you can see, this month, it's about just staying in this very amazing zone, staying very clear in how you're entering Scorpio season. It's you really attracting everything that you want to you. But just know that everything that comes to you, especially like right away, may not be what you're looking for. It may feel good and it feel good to be appreciated and acknowledged, but it may not be exactly what it seems. So I would wait and not make any rash decisions about certain opportunities that will come to you right away. Um, though for some of you, it's about recognizing that there's a slower pace about what's happening and that you may get bummed about it not being the right thing or the exact thing, but keep letting different ideas come to you. Keep letting your understanding for what you want and you know, you know what, when you'll see it type deal is. And then the, that energy will start to like really really expand even more especially where you're at right now it's like your aura will be like pushing away <laughs> anything that isn't meant for you and this will help clear up space in your mind because certain decisions will be made and you'll understand um not that you need to understand specifically but you understand that it's not for you and that it's for a greater purpose and a greater idea and for much more money even a lot of you have just been in very a focused state in this month won't take away from that but it will also ask you to even enjoy yourself in a way that doesn't take away from you so six of pentacles six of swords so it's about deepening the experience with what enjoyment is to you it doesn't necessarily mean like the 
without substance enjoyment. Enjoyment might look different to you than it once did. So it's like they're celebrating and it looks like more of a party. They're raising your glasses, but that could also be tea. You know, that could also be like you relaxing and just like chilling with a friend and like, or however you like to spend your time. That is what you'll be asked of this month is like really just go out on a limb and trust that if it's not, if it's taking away from your energy, especially when you know you have to like wake up the next day or do what you need to do and you know you want to clear focus, like don't take away from yourself. Allow yourself to appreciate those times in your life where you once did certain things and enjoyed certain things and now you enjoy maybe more peace. Maybe whatever and whatever that is that brings you peace this month. Because it can get intense, but it could also be intensely relaxing for you to know and understand and trust that you've grown accustomed to the lifestyle that you want and that you're living into. Therefore, you know how much rest and space that you need for yourself, but you also know you need to do or be allow yourself to be in a space where you're enjoying that even. It doesn't have to be hard for you to do that. Sometimes it's about how you make it seem. And it's important for you to understand that, like, whatever you're looking at right now, to be grateful for everything that you have. Because the more you clear your thoughts of, like, not even clear, but, like, set that mental boundary that it's, like, if it doesn't feel like enough or it's not enough or you're fighting yourself about having this or being farther, being here, being there, you have to remind yourself to be here. Like be here and like, let yourself dream, let yourself do your thing. You're just seeing the more that you do this, right? The more that you make the decision to enjoy yourself in the way that's more important to you now, the more that clears up those fights and that incessant, because what's happening when you have those struggles with yourself, even if it's just control, because, you know, this month is, will bring out the control or the obsession, in all of us in the different areas that we all have these qualities that Scorpios just, um, they exuberate a little bit more what's going to clear yourself from this is that this was actually taking away energy from you because you think you should like anytime you think you should be doing something don't fight that because no shouldn't should is just like you putting more pressure on yourself to do something that you're just not that's just not time you're doing enough at whatever you're doing right now and it's really important for you to understand that because the empress knows that you're always doing exactly what you need to. And some of you might have like a very specific schedule that you have to stick by. It's important that you keep going with that energy and also enjoy yourself when you're given that moment. Don't take away from yourself. And sometimes it's saying no. And you'd enjoy doing, again, something different. Something in you has changed. And it's like really this acceptance of like, oh, it's already changed. It's changed a while ago. And now I'm just really, when time comes, like I'm actually acting on it now. And it makes you realize how much energy you may have been fighting yourself to be a certain kind of fun or a certain kind of way. But it doesn't matter because like the people in your life or the way you like to spend your time how you do things has more value to it. It has more substance and it's ultimately more fulfilling. You feel like anything that's not in your view and anything that you're not grateful for at this time or really paying attention to at this time, it's actually clearing up things that and the more that you focus on that, the more it actually clears up those fights without even having to try too hard. It kind of helps them dissolve almost this month. And they might get a little more intense before they dissolve or the thoughts or the feeling of it might heighten or deepen. But it's for you to understand that this empress and then and the bottom of the deck with the high priestess is this letting is like setting everything in motion setting the standard and like allowing life to happen as well knowing that there's some things that will happen just because you decided something 
not that you actively are doing something because the action is the decision sometimes if that makes sense I hope it does so ultimately it's always coming back to your doing enough and what is enjoyment to you now what does that look like what does it look like for you to have an emotional break a mental break when in those even in those small pockets of time if you're someone who has like a really busy schedule right okay okay this is scorpio season for you and we will see you next month capricorn i love you